Welcome back to Noah's Gears, and today's video, we are going to be showing you what happens to the engine when you leave it sitting for one entire year without doing anything. So we're going to have to fix it, and then we're going to try and get it running today, so hopefully we're going to see this back axle running off the engine. Yeah. <laughs> He's not confident. I'm confident. I'm confident. So, we made a little sand to keep the go-kart off the ground. But if you look right here, which I've got to bring the camera, when I turn the wheel, it turns the cha the gear, and that and the gear is connected to the chain with this tiny gear right here. And the gear is connected right here into this pole where this is. So when this turns, it will turn the wheels. So basically, what I'm trying to say is that when the engine goes, it's going to do all what I said backwards. So I turn it on. It, it goes like this, it powers the chain, and moves the wheels. Cool. So, we're going to start the engine up for everyone to see, but we tried this earlier on, and what happened, Noah? And there was a gas leak. <laughs> yeah, so we need to see if we can sort that out first, yes. okay? Okay, so, <laughs> what we're doing here, is we're taking off the air filter inlet and the carburetor. So what are you doing just now, Noah? This thing here is called the fuel bulb. Okay, so we'll take that out because we're having an issue with the jetting of the fuel. So don't get fuel on. Your yeah, this was a. This is actually called the float. What that does is it sits inside the carburetor. There's quite a few videos on it. We'll send some links in the in the comments but this goes up and down and it stops too much fuel getting to the engine so that jet in there i think has become blocked over the last year because we haven't run the engine enough so yeah like if you see this right here it'll say run 15 to 20 minutes every three months and add fuel stabilizer or voids warranty okay we didn't do that so <laughs> <laughs> how long we had this engine for one year? A year and a half. A year and a half? Okay, so anyway, so we're basically, um, we're having to take the carburetor apart, probably check the, the jets, and then at the end of this video, we're gonna hook up the throttle cable to the, the pedal, so that we can actually run the run the, the back wheels. Okay, so by the end of today, you'll be able to see this wheel turn in by the engine. Okay, this is a carburetor the engine so this little uh, lever that comes off that's just a it moves the little air valve there so that flips that open and shut yeah and you, like it, it chooses how fast you could go so like rabbit and turtle yeah so that's the <laughs> throttle that's this thing here the first so time this you actually got... oh. dictates that part so we changed the spark plug already okay just to see if it was that and now what we're going to do is we'll take the, the throttle apart. So we have to remove these two from and there. Then we'll get the old spark plug. And then we've actually set the fuel to off so that this here is uh, going to not spread fuel everywhere. But we are going to actually have to take that apart. So we'll, we'll take that hose off. So this little clip here has to get pushed up. And then we're going to drain the, the fuel into a cup down here so that we can uh, have a look at what's going on with the, the jet. I'm back. What's, the, what's the engine doing? It looks like it's doing a pee. <laughs> it's just... We, um, uh, he took the tube off and now gas is leaking. And this is the old spark plug that we had, which would be right here. So it would look like that. That's how it would look like in the inside. Yeah. It stinks. If y'all were actually here, it stinks. <laughs> oh god. Does it smell like a gas station? Can we put this back on? <laughs> oh. Uh oh. You're making a mess now, boy. Darn it. So me and Noah have been at the, the pool today and both of us have got little red noses, don't we? Uh if you look at my back it's horrible. <laughs> I had sunscreen on but it got washed off. Okay, so it's nearly drained. Okay, so we might have a problem here. See this gasket here? That's ripped. So that might have been why we were having a, a fuel leak. So 
we'll have a look at that. But while we're here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull open the this um, gasket. No, this is actually the jet for the fuel. Who knew there was a jet in an engine? I know, right? Unless so, it's like a genius Einstein. <laughs> so if we pull this thing out here, okay, just unscrew it, and then if I turn that up, okay, see that little part comes out, and then we have a second part which you can see the back end of there. So if I open the the ear valve up. Hang on. Might need something skinnier to push it with. Okay, there we go. So if I now have this, there we go. This thing is called the jet. You can see there it's got a bunch of little holes in it. Yeah, air probably, your gas goes okay. through. Okay, so yeah, gas goes through those holes. But this has to be like really clear so that it doesn't get blocked up and stop fuel getting past. Oh, it might be the gas or it might be the jet. Yeah, so it could be could be either of those things. So we're gonna try. A spare of both. Yeah, we're gonna have a look at both of them, and also we're gonna have a look at. We'll take this one off here, which is where the fuel goes in from. Mm -hmm. And if we take that thing off, we'll find out if there's a, a a leakage with the the fuel there. So that's what we're gonna do just now. Okay. You've got to be careful as well. This is an O-ring round here. It you looks can see. Sharp. Well, it's actually made of rubber. And we're gonna have to make sure that that isn't like damaged because if it is, then it maybe. It looks like it. Wait, look. Yeah, see that part there? Yeah, it's like going twisted. If yeah. You're... Yeah. So we may end up having to get a new gasket for that. And that is what this fits against. So this is the fuel bulb. Mm -hmm. That sits there. Yeah, so you might just have to get like, a new jet and a new gasket. There yeah. could be several these things. things with these things, these, engine. these, uh, these carburetors, this thing is called the carburetor. I mean, they don't cost much. They're like twelve dollars for a new one, so we might That's end up just getting one. That's as much as we bought the fidget cube. <laughs> so we'll have a look and see see what it does. But that's basically how it works. We have the air, which comes in here, and mixes with the fuel, and then it sends it into the engine. Okay. Okay. Good. So the best way the best Have way you. to clear the lines is to use air. <laughs> Make it stop! We connect to the little cable to right here and you have to put this bolt, sort of nut bolt thing on. Well, it's actually a nut with um, a hole through it, so you put the wire through it and put a screw on it. And so now, when I do this, if you go over there, you can see that it's popping in and out. So, what's this going to be? Uh, pedal. This is now our pedal. power pedal. So if I push that, it's going to make it go faster. Yeah. Look at that face. Okay, there's the steering working. We're finally showing the steering working. Okay, so what we're trying to do is line up where the pedal needs to be. So we're just saying Noah probably needs a pedal here, right? But now you take it here and then show me sitting in it. Oh. Okay. But if an adult wants to drive in this little car, then we need pedals down there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. So, so we're gonna put we could, what four pedals? So we could, right? show, we could show put, how it looks for me in it. Yeah, but wait, we could put four pedals. Go stand over there. Yeah. Get a full view. We could put four pedals. Uh huh. But. If you look right here on the pedal, there's little holes and we could put like an extension, like some little poles or something. Yeah, so we'll connect the two pedals up so that we can use one for adults and one for kids. And then watch this baby roll. Okay. So, I'm put, we're putting in some new gas. One, because all the gas fell out. Two, <laughs> if you look in that cup, the gas is very dirty. Yeah, we think that maybe the gas was in there was a bit old, so we're just replacing it. Okay, so we'll turn the fuel on, we'll put it on start, set the throttle there, let's try it. Okay. 